be a good day. Even if I make it myself, it's gonna be a good day. I don't need no one else, I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do, I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too. Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. It's Wednesday, June 13th, 2007, and here is today's top story. Okay, all you Jericho nuts, this one's for you. CBS will add the show back to its primetime schedule on July 6th, when the network will rebroadcast the pilot episode at 9 p.m., and the first season episodes will follow on Fridays at 9 p.m. throughout the summer. Last week, CBS ordered seven new episodes for a mid-season launch sometime next season. We have more coming up today, but first this message from Miss Something Big. And remember, if you had a promo or a commercial in this video, we would all be watching your stuff right now. Coming up under more good stuff, CW speeds up Hidden Palms by two weeks, ABC World News with Charles Gibson wins seventh week in a row, Donald Trump and Fox teaming up for new reality project, and Hell's Kitchen gives Fox a win on Monday night. The open-ended series finale of The Sopranos on HBO Sunday night captured 11.9 million viewers, close to 50% more than the episode that aired the week prior. The big response for The Sopranos did not translate to the premiere of John from Cincinnati immediately afterwards, as the series opener averaged almost 3.4 million viewers, a 71% drop from the previous hour. The CW has moved up the finale of Hidden Palms by two weeks, now scheduled for Wednesday, July 4th. Now to do that, the network will air the show back-to-back -back for each of the preceding two weeks. The Encore show will also come off the Sunday schedule beginning this week and replace it with repeats of Seventh Heaven on Sundays at 8 p.m. ABC Family's second season premiere of Kyle XY on Monday at 8 p.m. brought in 400,000 viewers in the network sweet spot, Adele 18 to 34. That is a 22% increase over the season number one average. Jeff Corwin will bring his adventurous spirit to the Travel Channel in the new eight episode series, Into Alaska with Jeff Corwin, premiering July 10th at 9 p.m. The series will explore the last great frontier in America, giving tourists great tips on how to see this state on their own. The series is produced by Pioneer Productions. Here is a network evening news update. ABC World News with Charles Gibson has retained the top spot among total viewers, households, and adult 25 to 54 for seven straight weeks. For the week of June 4th, 2007, here is the official ranking. ABC with 7.71 million total viewers, 1.98 adult 25 to 54. NBC followed with 7.43 million total viewers and a 1.88 adult 25 to 54, while CBS was in third with a 6.0 million total viewers and a 1.57 adult 25 to 54. Retirement Living TV will introduce Daily Cafe next Monday at 2 p.m. as a two-hour live weekday program which will feature a variety of specialty topics and interviews appealing to its 55-plus audience. The show, hosted by former CNN anchors Mary Alice Williams and Felicia Taylor, along with former Food Network host Sandra Pinckney, will offer uh, news updates from NBC News and segments on everything from fashion, home design, movies, gardening, financial tips, travel bargains, and more. BBC America has purchased the first 14 episodes of the British TV franchise Top Gear, which will debut on the network this fall. Led by a team of car enthusiasts, Top Gear puts cars to the test through stunts and challenges to see if they meet the manufacturer's assertion.
Moving along to production and development, just one item. Donald Trump is teaming up with Fox with a new reality project in development called Lady or a Tramp, where party girls are sent to charm school and then evaluated on their progress per variety. If this sounds slightly familiar, you probably saw the casting notice for this uh, here in Synopsis just a couple of weeks ago. Here's the rating summary from Monday night according to Live Plus Same Day Ratings from Nielsen Media Research. Fox began the week at number one Monday night with a 3.210 adult 18 to 49 according to Fast Affiliate Ratings from Nielsen Media Research. Fox beat out the competition during 8 p.m. with the repeat of Hell's Kitchen episode at a 2.27 and almost doubled its delivery at 9 p.m. with a new episode of Hell's Kitchen at a 4.212. CSI Miami with an encore was a winner for CBS at 10 p.m. with a 2.88. Today's Daily Myth, moss grows on the north side of trees and can be used as a compass. Well, this is true, but moss also grows on the east, west, and south side of a tree. So I guess this is not a reliable or advised way to get north. Well, that's it for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, a few new classified ads, and a few other stories that didn't make it into today's podcast. And don't miss tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. The music and synopsis was composed and performed by David Stango. This podcast is a synopsis media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahonik. I'm gonna have a good day Even if I make it myself I'm gonna have a good day I don't need no one else I'm gonna have a good day Nothing wrong I could do I'm gonna have a good day Hope you have a good day too